Okay, so welcome to Espresso Yourself. This is my kitchen. And uh, although I don't make all the sandwiches, I do make some and I get to invent many of them, which is a lot of fun. One day I got this excellent roast beef in and I thought, oh, it's time I made a new one out of roast beef. I'd like to sell more of the beef ones than turkey. So what I did was I took a piece of this Greek pita flatbread, threw it on the grill, and what happens when you throw a pita bread on the grill, it gets soft, gets a little soft and bendable like that, okay? So that's what I needed, that's what I needed, something soft and bendable. Then I took this secret sauce, put my favorite duct tape on it so you couldn't tell which type it was, and put some of that secret sauce on there, just like that, spread it around a little bit. I always want to spread edge to edge on every single panini we do so every bite has that same nice flavor. No blank spots. Got that edge to edge from some pizza shop a long time ago. Then I put the roast beef on here. Then something nice, very nice, this Havarti dill cheese. It's really buttery. Would you like a taste of it? Yes, I would. There you that, go. That looks wonderful. It is a buttery cheese. Now, it's going to leave you that as my secret ingredient, but <laughs> the sauce is going to be the secret ingredient. And then, while this pita bread is still warm, we just flip it back over, stick it on the grill. While that's on the grill, I fix up the rest of the plate. Every one of our people that make these paninis actually has an artistic flair. And when they present the plate to a customer, I always insist that, that, boy, that customer better go, wow, that looks nice. So what we're going to do here is we give our customers choices whether they want a, a side with it. It can either be salad, fruit, or chips. And we don't do anything greasy here. Everything is really healthy. So this particular one, we're going to do fruit with it. And first I cut up a little apple, set it up as so, as artistically as I can. <laughs> And then I want to give it some color on the sides here a little bit. And then we'll give this person some banana also. Oop, get back here. A little banana on the side there. And a little topper right there. Okay. By this time, the Havarti cheese being as buttery as it is, it melts down really quick. That's what, what makes this sandwich a nice quick one and very tasty too. So let's see how that's doing right now. Oh, looks like it's doing good. So let's get her off the grill. It's a wild tango. That's what she looks like right there. But before we put it on there, we have to put some of our wild sriracha dipping sauce on. And we do this around the edge. I don't put it on the sandwich because some people want a little more and some a little less and we never know. So. You know, I, I just don't want to be the blame of a too hot of a sandwich. They can dip it any way they want. I love that one cooking show where the woman goes, and now I have to take a little sip of the wine. <laughs> I forget that lady's name, but I love that show. I wish I could do that here. So are you having... This is the wild tango. Wonderful. Were you offering your uh, customers anything special to do with this wild tango? Yeah, if they come in the month of February and say, wild tango, we'll give them a dollar off the wild tango. That's fabulous. Well, thank you very much, Eric, for showing us how you made the wild tango. You're welcome. Let's eat it. Yeah. <laughs>you guys hanging out here at the espresso yourself music cafe quite a bit what do you guys like about this place well, for me it's a place to come to be around other musicians and hear other other music and maybe get a chance to play with some people and you jim and it's the place where i love to perform it's a place where 
people actually listen to your music? It's just a friendly atmosphere, and I just always have fun here. The warmth. I like the magic doors out front. When you walk through the, the doors, everybody's friends. No, no strangers inside. I like their because I can express myself with my music and my words. Tune in next time.